I will now explain uh, what uh, elements I need uh, I needed to utilize to be able to complete uh, this project. First of all, we have hardware and uh, for the hardware we need an Arduino Nano, which is this, and uh, 128 uh, by 32 OLED display which is this on the front side and like this on the back side okay we had we have to buy that hardware then we have electronics so we have a six volts transformer we have a full bridge rectifier to connect uh, directly to the transformer to the ac as you saw in the picture we need a capacitor to smooth the output of the full bridge rectifier and we need a voltage regulator to connect it uh, to the power in of uh, the Arduino. This is a voltage regulator. We also need two capacitors like this because the schematic of uh, the 7805 uh, requires them. Then uh, we have uh, software because we have to put some uh, code to the Arduino to work. And we have to do some coding on the Arduino IDE. All uh, these stuff are uh, well known to somebody that, have, that has watched my series of video how to build a VU meter with Arduino. So I won't go in detail on these. So let's see now how everything is uh, connected together. This is uh, the VU meter compartment. I don't know the English word, but anyway. So you may be able to see the screen which is here, it's here, let me get closer here, okay, you may see this part here, okay, which is the board for the OLED uh, display, back here, just on the, on the back side, here, it's the old uh, VU meter, uh, the plastic uh, part of it, which is on uh, the back. And uh, this uh, purple pink thing is uh, a frame I built around the old screen here, okay, to so that it fits here. Okay. So that it fits. I built a, f a frame here around with, with 3D printing, that is. And if you see here, these are the cables. These are the cables, four cables coming out of the screen coming all the way here and getting out here okay 
and here they are connected to the Arduino I will show later. So all these compartments here, it's the old VU that now is connected. I had to unsolder the pins of the display, the original pins of the display, because uh, they wouldn't fit on that distance here, and solder the cables directly to the, to the display to, so that uh, they can fit in here. They go out from here, from here, and they come here to the Arduino. Okay, let, let me show you the Arduino here, how it is. So, the connections of the OLED display are uh, already on my other video where I show how we built... Uh, we built a VU meter using Arduino. Here, this is, this is, a, this is a screw where everything is grounded, okay? And uh, here you can see the, the connections the, the connections from the old display are uh, here uh, on the Arduino with uh, the cables here. Okay, now where I got the signal is from this place here and from this place here. And there we have those two cables that they go like that. They go like that and they enter in there. They enter in there and they go and they plug in on the audio, on the analog inputs of the Arduino. That's how everything is connected electronically from the machine to the Arduino. So, another problem that I had is that uh, this machine is uh, positive ground. So, all the capacitors here, all the capacitors here and all the capacitors here, they are connected with their positive pin to ground. So, everything is reversed on this machine. So, I couldn't use any already existing power supply for the power supply of the Arduino. I, I couldn't also take uh, the already existing, uh, existing uh, output from the transformer here because the voltage was uh, too high. It was like uh, 43 volts or something. No, 33, I think. And I had to use a bulk converter to... To, to get the voltage down to the 5 volts for the Arduino. That means that I had to use a large capacitor and a large uh, full bridge rectifier from uh, this, from, from the transformer, separate capacitor, and then use another bulk converter. And all this uh, wouldn't be very easy to do, and I was afraid that the bulk converter will, would uh, would introduce some, uh, some noise to the Arduino and all the electronic stuff here. So what I did is, do you see this cable here? When the cable here from the power supply goes in here, I did take after the fuse. So this is this cable is fused is the, from the fuse inside, and I did uh, take power supply here. This the, and I put a plug here. I draw it red so that I know that uh, it's a uh, high voltage here, and I went on the back of the machine through here, where I put a separate transformer, as you can see here. Which, with its own bridge rectifier and capacitor. The output of this goes goes in there, goes in there, and let me show you. It comes up from here, goes back here, goes uh, goes all the way goes all the way here. And from here it goes all the way up there and all the way here and comes to the Arduino. So these cables here, these two cables here, are there to power the Arduino.
So this is this is how everything is uh, connected uh, here. Uh, if you if if anybody needs any more pictures, clearer pictures of all this stuff, I will make um, a folder and share it on a cloud for everybody the, to download them and uh, be able to see how everything is uh, built.